What's up YouTube? This is the Modern Man Kina Leo. Nataka kuongelelea kitu ambalo linaitwa the delusion of Sanaipei Tande. Now, I'm not going to be focusing on Sanaipei Tande alone. I'm also going to highlight other women who are in the same situation she is in. Now, for a very long time, women have been told enda shule tafuta kazi be the best version of yourself be the most successful woman you can be be a career oriented person okay and many women pursue this dream only to wake up when they are in their 30s like mid 30s or early 40s and realize they are all alone okay now when you look at Sanae Pei Tande we discovered who she was during those days of sema and manze at that time Sanae Pei Tande was one of the hottest chicks in the game. She was very young. She became famous when she was very very young. And uh she's been in the limelight for more than 10 years now. So as as we speak today she is what 36 years old. Sanae Pei Tande has been in the news lately and nothing that people have been talking about relates to her music. It's always been about relationships or oh, this man did this this man tried to do that but let's break it down why i'm saying this woman is delusional or she's feeding into a delusion that a lot of women feed into without realizing it now sanae pei tande was in a relationship with a guy called manga kama mnajua music in kenya uh, manga used to sing with a guy called habib habib was the brother of isa so they had this crew called habib and manga and they were together for like 5 years before they called it quits and how ndo najua nini nilifanya waachane but according to Sanae Pei Tande she said she wanted to figure out where her life was going so maybe she left this guy when she was what 31 years old or something around that time and she's been focusing on her career okay now the latest news we've heard about Sanae Pei Tande is that she has been getting men who want to buy for her things men who want to pay for things i mean this woman started saying that there's a man who wanted to buy for buy for her a Porsche and this man was online now i don't understand how a woman in her age can be that delusional to believe utakutana na mtu online akwambie nitakununulia gari now i'm not saying she will not find men who will offer her things like that but come on online in the internet most people just say things for the sake of saying it and the internet is not even a real place you cannot take someone's word at face value yet amekuambia kitu kama hicho online number 2 you are a famous woman of course people will come and tell you all sorts of things i can come and tell you i love you i want to marry you i want to have your babies i want to be with you i want to give you the world that does not mean it's true maybe i'm just fantasizing about you Okay. Now it's very strange that she went ahead to believe that this person who said these things, this person who allegedly said these things, that this person was actually speaking the truth. Okay? She said she even went ahead and said that people were offering to pay for her appearance appearances. Like you just show up at my place, show up for lunch and I'll pay you $1000. Now let me ask you which kind of man out here will pay you $1000 which is 100 and probably 10000 Kenya shillings just to show up sit over there look pretty let's talk have lunch bounce and i'm sure there are men out here who have that kind of money to blow away okay but let's be honest men are not doing such things number 2 this woman this woman actually uh this woman actually believes that how wana ume they actually want to be with her now sanae pay at 36 years old i can guarantee you that majority of the men who are coming your way just want to have fun with you none of them is looking at you as a potential soulmate or a potential partner or a potential wife or a potential mother to his kids I don't want you to believe that that actually is going to happen. Now, I'm not saying a woman like Sanae Paytanda will not get married. Like again, again, we have no idea what can happen next. But when you look at the reality of the situations of women in her age bracket, they do not get men 
serious men coming their way. Furthermore, Sanae Paytande will never date a man younger than her. So she's 36. So atatafta mtu mwenye ako maybe 40, 45, 50 huko. Welewa. Na mwanaume kama huyo, you don't expect to meet a 45 year old man who is single. Ako peke yake hivi kama mti. No kids, no ex-wife, nothing like that. It's nearly impossible. Now Sanae Pei, are you ready to become a stepmother to another man's kids? Bearing in mind, Sanae Pei is jika makona mtuta mahana, but let's just, I don't know if she has, but if she does not have one, will a woman who is 36 years old want to raise another man's kids? It's not even realistic. She's not going to be able to do that. Okay. Now, this is the same woman who's saying men are offering her money, yet some few years ago, she was becoming broke because Ali Achishwa Kazi and she couldn't pay her rent. This woman was paying 55,000 shillings on rent. Again, this is why I'm saying Sanepe is living in a delusion. 55,000 shillings on rent and you're living alone in an industry whereby there is no certainty if you're going to be doing that job in the next one year, two years, five years. That's being reckless. That is being ignorant to reality. So eventually she lost her job and Akanza Kufanya Kazi is a karaoke where she's hosting gigs here and there. And she was making like 10 to 12,000. And she was sleeping in the car and she was miserable. Ikafika wakati ikabidi arudi kwa nyumba mzazi. Now let me ask you something. Do you think Sanaipe Tande was not getting male attention at that time? Of course she was. Do you think she was not getting men who wanted to spend money on her at that time? Of course she was getting these guys. She even went ahead and said Mainakageni wanted to give her a baby or wanted to have a baby with her and he would pay her half a million shillings every single month just for upkeep and to obviously take care of the child. Now, in all my days, I have never seen a woman deny half a million shillings just to be a mother of a child, of a man who's not going to run away. We're not talking about a dead beat human being. This is someone who wants to take full responsibility of having a kid by you. And he's ready to do that. And you, being a woman who does not have a child, I would assume you will take that opportunity or take that option or take that request and put it into consideration and probably act upon it. But you didn't do that. Now you're 36 years old, no money in your life. You're going around telling people that marriage is not the ultimate goal. Now, that sounds fancy and poetic coming from an independent woman in quotes. But let me ask you something. Let's flip the script. If you meet a man who is 40 years old and he tells you, being not being financially stable, being financially stable is not the end goal. Kwa ni mimi kama mwanaume, siyezi kwa tu mwanaume bila pesa. Siyezi kwa mwanaume kama sina kariya. Siyezi kwa mwanaume kama sina kitu yambalo nimekuwa ni kijenga for the last 15 years, this is a 40-year-old man. It will sound very crazy. It will sound insane when a man says that because men are known to be providers. Now, let me explain what this provision actually means. When a man has money or he has financial stability, he is able to lead either a family or a community. He is able to be confident in what he's doing he is able to protect people, either himself or people around him. He is able to sustain a family. That is why it's very important for a man to make his own money and make it as early as humanly possible. So that is what being a man entails, or what being a man, that's what part, part of what being a man is. So as a woman, what do you think defines you? One of the things that will define you as a woman is your ability to get a man 
keep him or have him stay with you let me not say keep him because mwanume atakaa mali anataka but you as a woman it will what will define you is the ability to have a man in your life and have your own family now a lot of women out here are going around thinking that because they're getting validation from total strangers online that they are the shit and as i said the internet is not a real place people will tell you anything to make you happy or to make you angry so you can't go believing the words of strangers again women are wired to want love and affection from just one man yes she might be getting dms from 100 people every day she might be getting compliments from 100 people every day but if she's not getting it from the one man she wants that's a problem so when this woman comes up and says that there are people online presenting themselves as suitors first of all sanepe you need to understand one thing this man are not looking at you as a potential wife you're probably going to be a side chick or wife number 2 3 4 5 kuendelea but not the first one so please get that bullshit out of your head okay stop telling women that marriage is not a big deal have you seen how women react when they get engaged Unaona nimepata nini? Nimepewa pete. Huyo mwanaume ameamua kunioa. This women go nuts over being engaged. Why? Because it's almost like a status symbol. You know you have elevated yourself in life when you have a man who is willing to stay by your side forever. Understand? So Sanae Pei Tande and women who think like Sanae Pei Tande need to understand one thing. You cannot waste your youthful years and then wake up at 36 years old expecting to get worthy men by your side. You had your whole 20s to do that, you didn't do it. You even got into a relationship which lasted for 5 years and it fell apart for whatever reason but the relationship fell apart. And now you are 36 years old. Now, let me tell you one thing. I am not against Sanae Pei Tande and what she says. I just want people to understand some of the things she's saying. One thing you need to know, Sanae Pei Tande as much as she's a very attractive woman, she wants men to think that she is worth being with. That's why she's saying, mimi kuna watu wanakuja wanataka kununulia gari wanataka kunipatia pesa ya bure na naokata. Now in the mind of a man who's not really thinking properly at all like oh if this woman is denying herself a Porsche she's been offered a Porsche and she said no she's been offered a thousand dollars just to show up and she said no this is a good woman so there are men who think like that but for straight thinking men like us men who understand how women really are say that is a lie We already know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make yourself become valuable. And in the dating market, your time is already gone. No man is coming to a 36-year-old woman when he can get a 26-year-old woman just like you. No man is doing that. Okay? Women like you, women like Sheila Monyiga, women like um Kaleche Muma who is who some time back said men are being intimidated by her being successful. Now that could be true but then again what type of men is she talking about Are you talking about men who are worth being husbands and fathers or you're talking about just any random human being on social media who's showing interest in you Because if you're talking about this men who are worth being husbands and fathers men who have proven to be leaders in society men who have proven to be providers protectors professors When I say professors I mean they can be able to show you that they actually love you and they can be able to take care of you. Those kind of men are not coming your way. What you're getting is leftovers. Actually in Asia women who are single are called leftovers. <clears throat> excuse me for excuse me for that. Women who are single are called leftovers. Now we're not going to label Sanai Pei Tande a leftover. No, that is extremely rude. But my point is this. A woman is complete when she has a man by her side. That is why you see women who get engaged lose their minds. Because they have elevated themselves 
in life by having a man who's ready and willing to be by their side forever. So women like Sanipa Itande, you need to stop lying to other women that being single is okay. Oh, you can age. There's nothing wrong with being old. Trust me, there's a lot of things that is that are wrong with a woman being old and alone. Let me give you an example. I am talking to a woman who's what? Around 38 years old. She has three kids. They are about to finish school and leave the house. In the next maybe three years, this woman will be living alone again because these kids will eventually move out. Now, if you think your independence, your empowerment, your strength is real, wait till you get to that uh, that point. You are 40, you are 45, or even 36 like Sanipe, and you're living alone with no one near you, no family, no kids, nothing. And I ask women this question, do you want to die alone? Majority of you will say no. Majority of you will say, I want to have kids. Yes, I can have kids. I don't need a man in my life. And that's fine. But eventually, you're not going to stay with these kids forever. After they are 20, once they get to 20 years old, it's time for them to leave the house. Okay? And you'll be left all alone. And you'll start looking for younger men. Because trust me, men who are your age and above, they are not even available. Women, as they grow older, their capability of getting suitable partners decreases. Because as you grow older, obviously the pool of the kind of man you're looking for becomes smaller. For us men, as we grow older, the pool of the kind of women you're looking for becomes bigger. And that's just how the world is made. So Sanaipe Tande, the delusion here is this. You think you're 36 years old and you can still get what you want. And as much as that is true, we live in reality. And reality states that after a certain age, when you're about to a part of Saizo, you're valuable men. Or they will not look at you as a valuable woman. They can be valuable men, but they're not looking at you as a valuable woman. So you need to start reassessing yourself. You say you want to focus on yourself and do you, that's fine. But every night when you go to sleep, I am sure you dream about having someone by your side. You dream about having your own family. Those are the things you think about. You can be the most successful human being on the planet, but come you will always feel like you have lost in life. Ask women who are older than you, they'll tell you. You understand? So, Sanaipei Tande, as you're urging people to be grateful for growing old which is a good thing do not lie to young women that they can chase careers and still get a family later on in life it's going to be very hard for them to achieve that because the kind of men who will be available at that time majority of them will not be looking at you they'll be looking past you because they can get younger women like younger women than you you understand now, as a Kenyan, I wish you all the best in everything you do. But let's be realistic. Let's not feed into the delusion. Sanaipei Tande, Kaleche Mumo, Chilo Manyiga, and there are a bunch of other women who are above 35 and they are all alone. I can guarantee you, you do not want to die alone. Reassess your... Reassess what exactly it is you want in life. And know what comes with what you want. If you want to chase the career, fine, do it. But understand, Okifuata Yonjia, there are other things you'll miss out. And when you focus on having a family, there are other things you'll also miss out. So for me, the modern man, KE.